This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, in this session, once again, we are going to continue the basic settings itself. So in basic settings, uh, one major important topics which we have covered till now, we have seen like uh, fiscal year variant, we have seen posting period variant, we have seen field status variant, number range, document type. These are the things which we have seen. Now, still we are having certain certain topics which we have to cover and that is like look at here tolerance group okay tolerance group is there and even after that i'll cover this posting key so we are having tolerance group and we are having posting key so now tolerance group is a pretty important topic guys we need to have a perfect understanding so let me explain about this tolerance group it's here okay it's here now so tolerance group what is the use of this tolerance group okay now i'll just do one thing guys I'll put an example. Okay, it's like that. Now, I'll put an example. First of all, uh, I'll uh, let you know the definitions here. Look, look at here, tolerance group. It is also called tolerance limits. So, it refers to a way to make sure that the employee do not exceed their limit in terms of amount or discount in financial transaction. Now here, uh, definition is a bit confusion, confusing, guys. Those who are, you know, seeing these all things first time. Okay, what exactly I said? It's tolerance limits or tolerance group refers to a way to make sure that em employee do not exceed their limits in terms of amount or discount in financial transaction. Certain things are specified here. Okay, now I'll just do one thing, guys. I'll put an example and then we'll explain what is this, and then we'll come back again and we'll do the configurations. So, first of all, understanding must be there, guys. Even uh, you, uh, because once you become a consultant, you can get a requirement, any kind of requirement even related to this tolerance group also okay so first of all we need to understand the concept of tolerance group once you know that easily you guys are going to perform if you receive the requirements and all now here let's suppose in the previous lecture in previous lecture i have given uh, certain examples during posting period you know uh, posting period variant uh, that there was three friends a b c right and a had made a mistake and all three has made all three uh, actually made a mistake like they uh, forgotten to post our transactions which belongs to previous period and now they are the previous period is, was closed and now we enter into current period right so these things I have explained uh, that how you know the things are happening how the you know even whoever the authorized persons are there so how they are going to restrict even users also you know to post the particular transactions or the particular particular period and all in the previous lecture now same i'm going to start the similar example i'm going to give okay again the same friends are there let's suppose they are the part of a particular team say for example account payable team okay it is also called p2p team procure to pay so account payable apt what is happening this a b and c so now all three are having different different responsibility okay in account payable team let's suppose some people involve 
in the maintenance of master data that is called vendor master data creation or modifications what is this meant when the vendor master data how to set up we'll see uh, you know in future once i start the account table topic now so this uh, this he is involved in vendor maintenance the part of vendor maintenance team okay or vendor management team in a sense these people are involved to create and modify the vendors okay why because guys whenever if you talk about any transactions let's suppose uh, any account payable related transactions account payable means what guys all the vendor related transactions are going to be taken care so here uh generally whenever we are going to procure certain things from vendor then what will happen vendor is going to send you the invoices and all those invoices are supposed to be posted in the system so where it is going to be posted guys we must be having so that invoice must be posted against particular vendor itself so that that vendor must be set up in sap right so who is going to set up that vendor that vendors so whichever the vendors are there that is going to be set up in sap in the form of master data what is this master data don't worry we'll explain later so this guy involved into maintenance of vendor master or management of vendor master now b is involved in, in involved in what invoice posting okay invoice posting whatever the invoices are being received from vendor side that is going to be posted by b and c is involved in payment posting okay so in every organization what is happening guys the roles and responsibility will be segregated so now c is involved in payment in the sense c is going to release the payment against all the vendors now here as i said these three are close friends so now let's suppose they had an idea they had an idea what idea they said like okay since we are releasing payments against every uh, several vendors and all right every day we are going to courier lots of checks and all right now uh worth of 50 lakh rupees 1 crore rupees or 20 lakh rupees isn't it 5 crore rupees 4 crore whatever because if it is a big organization of course whatever the payments are going to release that is also huge itself now here what will happen guys so now they said that we'll do one thing this a is going to create dummy vendor okay with any name a is going to create a dummy vendor and in that he is going to put his own bank account in every vendor master what is happening guys let's suppose because nowadays let's suppose uh, online transfer is happening okay online transfer is happening so here what is happening now in vendor master all the details even bank details are also going to be specified so now they said that he is going to set up a dummy vendor and he is going to give his own bank account in the vendor master b is going to post a dummy invoice b is going to post a dummy invoice against okay so now here okay so here vendor i'm writing in shortcut guys so now a is going to create a dummy vendor and in that vendor a is going to maintain his own bank account 
B is going to post a dummy invoice against that particular vendor. Okay, let's suppose worth of one crore rupees. Now, and C is going to release the payment against this one crore rupees. Okay, so here what is happening guys? Transactions involved. Now, and what is this activity guys? Fraud. And it means they have planned that if we do this kind of things and all, then what will happen guys? If, if A, B, C is going to release the payment, the payment is going to be transferred here in this bank account, A bank account, right? And this is how they will be able to get around 30 lakh plus everybody, 33, 33, 33. Now, this is also a huge amount. So now, I'll tell you, so that is their plan. Okay, now what will happen? So here, I'll tell you guys in SAP, we are having lots of checks and control, right? If these three people, a ground level people who is working, just doing a kind of data entry work, if they are able to think, if they are able to plan such kind of activities and all, what about the people who have developed this SAP? It's not a one person, right? There will be a complete team who is working together and that too, uh, you know, lots of scholars, lots of experts will be there, it belongs to different, different domains and all. What about those people? They have thought beyond to these people, right? They have thought around like their thought processing means what? 100 steps further than these people, right? 100 steps ahead than these people. So it means what is happening from nowhere any kind of fraud is possible in SAP guys. Forget about other ERPs and all because now what is happening even that is also a kind of speciality. Uh, in the previous session I explained like whenever uh, the sales and marketing team of any particular organizations visit the client locations and once they give the presentations about the SAP and all they will count these all things also that nowhere not even a chances of 0.1% of any sort of frauds you know are there in SAP in the sense like from nowhere in the sense from none of the angle these kind of activities cannot be done in, in SAP and all because we are having lots of checks and control lots of you know uh, you know kind of validations will be there isn't it so now here that is their thought now so is it possible this is not possible okay why it is not possible guys because we are having certain restrictions okay we are going to apply certain restrictions say for example what restrictions will be there guys so restrictions will be there in terms of let's suppose amount even in terms of discount also we'll explain later now we'll talk about amount itself so let's suppose we have created we have created certain tolerance group okay we are going to set up certain tolerance group now what will happen tolerance group means guys let's suppose i have created tolerance group like any code can be given like let's suppose t zero one t zero two t zero three okay these three tolerance group let's suppose we are going to set up now so what is happening guys for this tolerance group what is the use of this tolerance group guys this is going to apply a kind of restrictions in terms of what guys in terms of transaction posting in the sense here in t01 we have given a restrictions that 
this tolerance group, whichever user ID belongs to this tolerance group will not be allowed to post a transaction which is more than 10 lakh. Okay, here let's suppose we have given limits up to 50 lakh and here unlimited in the sense like let's suppose I have assigned all this A, B, C. These people I have assigned, these three I have assigned under this tolerance group. Okay, here we are having let's suppose D and here we are having E. So D is PL and E is manager. Okay, so this ground level people what is happening guys? These people have thought to do these things. Now what is happening? Whenever the B is going to whenever the B is going to post an invoice worth of one crore rupees, system will throw an error that your amount limit is 10 lakh rupees itself. You cannot make posting of transactions which is more than 10 lakh rupees. Okay, now there will be one more question in your mind. It's okay if not one lakh rupees, at least for 10 lakh rupees also in 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 well like for this small amount also the fraud is possible i'll tell you guys even not fraud is not possible for a single rupees also right because in further sessions we are having certain unique topics which i'll cover guys okay so there also lots of restrictions are there this is the one which i'm explaining right now isn't it further we'll have other topics also so that's what I'm saying that lots of controls are there lots of controls are there so there is not at all not a single percent of the chances of any kind of frauds so now here what is happening we have restricted we have restricted like in the sense like this this instead of one crore rupees we are saying that the uh, what to say this uh, limit will be 10 lakh rupees only even we can reduce it Instead of 10 lakh, we can make it 1 lakh rupees also. It depends upon the, uh, what to say, organizations. They will say that, okay, we want to have these kind of, this, our entire limits are going to be, you know, segregated in three. Okay. So 10 lakh, 50 lakh, and unlimited, or is 1 lakh, 50 lakh, unlimited, 5 lakh, 50 lakh, unlimited, right? It could be anything. Or is even, uh, this is going to be segregated in four also. Right. So, what is happening? Tolerance group. Tolerance group. What is happening? What is the use of this tolerance group, guys? Okay. So, it is going to apply a kind of a restrictions on users in terms of what, guys? In terms of amount, transaction amount, and even in terms of discount also. Discount also, guys. Let's suppose I have given five percent. Okay, here also I've given here I'm going to give 10% and here I have not given anything. It means unlimited. Okay, will be or else like I give 20%. So what is happening now in terms of discount? Why? Because let's suppose if you are going to post any customer related invoices and while posting, let's suppose the customer is like you are having some personal contract or contact with the customer. Uh, that's why it's nothing but an organization itself. So now what is happening? You might have given some 50% discount. You might have allocated 50% discount to the customers. So customer got benefited, right? And in turn, customer is going to also give you certain benefits indirectly. So now what is happening, guys? Even in terms of discount, also we are going to apply restrictions that you, in the sense the users belong to this tolerance group, T01, will not be allowed to provide a discount which is more than 5%. It means less than equals or less than 5% discounts only can be allowed. So anyway guys, this discount and all will come into picture once again. Once we proceed further uh, in account payable, we are having a topic called terms of payment, okay, or payment terms. So there we are going to discuss in details, okay. Right now, we'll talk about this amount system. We'll talk about this amount itself okay so what i said like it is not possible why because we have reduced the limit we have reduced the limit 
right? Now here, let's suppose the reduced the amount was reduced till 10 lakh rupees. So everybody's are going to get 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh for that. I don't think that they are going to do this planning and all because the amount is quite small and for that. Again, if you do these things, they have to quit the job, right? Now here, so, and I said like, even this is also not possible, but in future further classes, we'll, once we proceed further, we are having several other topics also, guys. So then you will come to know how it is not possible. Okay. Now, uh, even we are having a topic called sensitive field. Sensitive field is a quite unique topic, guys. No one is covering nowadays. Not nowadays, even earlier also. That is a unique topic. I'll cover later. Okay, in the upcoming sessions, and there I'll let you know. Okay, uh, even some requirements also I'll uh, give you guys later. Okay, recently I received certain requirement, and I'm planning to provide you know some requirement uh, from that one itself. Whatever I have received, so it is quite easy. I'll let you know. Now here, now here, what is happening? That. So here we have defined three to different tolerance group and for every tolerance group what is happening guys we have given certain limit certain amount limit so 10 lakh rupees it means what is happening once B is going to post the invoice B will not be allowed to post the invoice which is more than 10 lakh rupees once C is going to uh, let the post so if the invoice itself if the invoices itself unable to post if, if this guy is unable to post the invoice itself then how the payment is going to be released and even for this guy also what is happening we have applied this restrictions okay that this guy cannot post this guy cannot post a payment also or this guy cannot release a payment also which is more than 10 lakh okay so now what is happening guys their plan it shattered there itself okay so that is what I have specified here. Tolerance group or tolerance limits refers to a way to make sure that employee do not exceed their limits. In terms of what? In terms of amount, even in terms of discount also in financial transactions. Now I'll just do one thing guys. I will, I will just do one thing uh well login okay let me i was making some experiment let me log in here because the connection is broken and here okay now what is happening guys for experiments okay for experiments right now we are not having any transaction to post okay uh, but i have made one experiment in a different company code so i will show you okay first of all uh, how to configure how to configure with this so we have to we are going to define tolerance group for users tolerance limit for users now so instead of three what is happening we are going to set up one itself one itself and we'll assign our user id against this one okay because we are not having any other user id so we'll test on our user id itself so that you guys will be happy a perfect understanding okay here what is happening everywhere whichever the things you are going to watch whether youtube videos or whatever things that you are going to watch or whichever sessions you have taken uh, people are just going to explain the functionality of this tolerance group in a single line or might be two lines right and everybody will just make a note isn't it once you go for interview if the interviewers are going to ask certain questions if they give certain scenarios and all then what is happening guys with limited knowledge it is impossible to answer the questions because scenario could be anything we cannot say that okay this is only the scenario can be scenario 
that could be uh, anything right so if you're having perfect understanding about that particular topic it's quite easy to answer whatever questions are going to be asked by people whichever scenarios are going to be asked by people okay so use transaction code oba4 to define our tolerance group once again i said guys i'll, I'll say whenever i'm sharing the configuration documents in that path and transaction code both are there right and whichever things you want to follow you can follow during my training i use transaction code this is how the time is going to be safe okay press enter oba4 now we are going to define our own tolerance group click on new entry here in group field you have to give a code okay now what is your company code guys our company code is tm02 in group field also i am going to give the same code okay if you want to give any other code like i said t01 i t02 or abc xyz whatever code you can give you want you can give so here the maximum length of this code will be four digits i am going to give the same code whatever our company code is there the same code i'm using here in group also so that it will be easy for you guys to remember the code okay now so this is the company code and this code belongs to tolerance group here we are going to specify certain amount limits let's suppose i will i will give a limits up to 500 only because we have to post okay first we have to perform the testing right i'll give a limit 500 and here discount let's suppose five percent this discount related things you'll come to know as i said once we uh we are having a topic called payment terms that is also quite uh what to say uh, what to say unique things i'm going to explain in terms of payment also guys uh, there are certain things which you might have never seen till now so anyway that topic will come uh, you know later now so here what is happening is now i have given press and enter okay and now there is one question might be coming in your mind that amount per document and amount per open item account why we are going to give these things at two places so i have recorded a separate video for this one right because uh, in order to make you understand the differences and all uh, we must be having some uh, you know account payable or account receivable related settings and all then only uh, you know practically i can explain this okay so nothing to be worry about right now uh, as i said like complete things whole things cannot be explained in one session right because i have to my style is to provide example and that to practical example for each and everything this is how you guys are going to be unique compared to whichever people are there in the market right or whatever your competitors are there so now here uh, so here what we have given we have given 500 limits okay and as i said like what is the difference in between like between these two amounts that you will come to know don't worry right now just concentrate on this common things only what is that that it's a kind of control tolerance limits provide a kind of control okay so that what will happen employees employees do not exceed their limit in terms of amounts and discount we'll see the amount discount as i said we'll see later at the time of payment terms and here we are going to give some nominal amount Center. what is this nominal amount guys for making payment differences what is this let me say this press center what is this for making payment differences guys these things also you guys will come to know later because once we go certain customer and weather related you know documents and all now what is happening let's suppose you are having an invoice worth of 1000 we, we have posted an invoice worth of 1000 and then or, or like we have posted an invo invoice worth of 1001 rupees okay in case of customer and what is 
the payment guys how much payment we are going to make it's in round figure let's suppose 1000 itself this is your payment so if this is the case there is a difference of one rupees right difference of one rupees now here what will happen once you post the payment once you are going to release the payments and all then in that case there is a difference okay there will be a difference in terms of debit and credit amount so now what will happen guys if there is a difference of even a point one rupees also system will not allow you to allow you to proceed further because there is differences in debit and credit debit and credit must be equal right so now here what is happening for such kind of things we are going to specify tolerances sorry tolerance limits in the sense some amount small amount that okay in case of look at here permitted payment differences okay so here payment differences is one rupees invoice belongs to 1001 and how much payment we are let suppose in invoice belongs to 1001 this is your vendor invoices okay in case of vendor invoices so invoice will is 1001 and payment we are going to make only 1000 in in round figure right so there is a difference of 100 rupees so here what i have given i have given a maximum limit till 10 rupees if the differences are just till 10 rupees the system is going to system is going to allow so invoice 1001 and payment we are making thousand this one rupees is what guys this one rupees is your revenue it's your gain right so in gain i have specified till 10 rupees system will accept now the same conditions for customer right we have sold a goods worth of 1001 rupees to the customer and customer is also going to make payment in round figure itself guys so sold a goods worth of 1001 and received amount or received payment of 1000 only there is a difference of 1 rupees but this 1 rupees difference is our loss so in terms of loss also i said like till 10 rupees loss is also going because this is a nominal amount right so uh this is what we have specified now just save it guys we have already saved it so what we have done we have created we have set up our tolerance group but how system will come to know that this tolerance group has been set up for you only okay so what is happening in next step we must have to assign this tolerance group to the user ids okay look at here i said like tolerance group need to be created so instead of p01 i have created pm02 this is the tolerance group i have created and instead of 10 lakh i have given a small limit because we have to perform testing also isn't it so now i have given a small limit once we perform the testing and all we can increase the limit guys right and so now what will happen here this limit i have given now this user id whatever the user ids are there that also must be assigned against the tolerance group then only system will be able to understand that yes this tolerance group whatever we have created okay certain restrictions we have applied in the sense here certain restrictions are there for this tolerance group so these restrictions are belongs to which users in the sense these restrictions apply to which users so those user id is supposed to be assigned guys where to assign ob57 is the transaction code there we are going to assign this user id here what you have to do guys you need to click on new entry you need to give your user id your user id itself why because you are having only one user id so as i said we are going to just perform this testing and all the so better to assign your user id and perform the testing once it is done then what will happen guys after that just increase the limit in the tolerance group okay once you perform the testing it's more than more than enough to understand the concept i'll tell you guys configuration steps whatever the configuration steps are there whatever the transaction codes are there whatever the path which i have given in the configuration documents okay if you don't do practice for continuously four days or five days easily you are going to forget each and everything 
right but the concept whatever i'm explaining right now if you guys are able to understand this you are not going to forget you in your entire life also okay it will be like there in your mind lifelong try to understand the concepts there are lots of people wasting their time just for doing this blind configurations and all right nothing will happen because if logic itself is not clear then why to do this configurations and all right now here uh, so this is my user id and which tolerance group i have created guys tolerance group i have created tm02 itself so i'm going to assign this tm02 okay uh okay 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 i have uh, you know like made a mistake guys okay what is happening here system is saying that this is already i have assigned so let me remove okay i have already assigned actually before that i was making a testing so let me remove that here and now i am going to assign a new one okay save it so now i belongs to this tolerance group tm02 tm02 now here that assignment is completed assignment is completed now here what will happen guys if you post now you guys are not having any connection to post right now because our certain even we are having some more configurations which is remain once we perform like if you have the gl settings and all then only you guys will be able to post the transactions and once you are able to post the transactions then only you will be able to check this what to say setting whether it is working fine or not or you can test the setting to this group however i am already having certain configurations which i have done in the same system okay so i'll just do one thing guys i have already defined one more tenants tolerance group for testing itself and for that i have already performed the basic settings so i would be able to post transactions for that company code say for example ob a4 right ob a4 is to define the tolerance group so now what what we have defined we have defined tm02 that is the tolerance group here right there is the tolerance group i have similar tolerance group i have defined for a different company code that is look at here tm01 the similar tolerance group i have defined tm01 but this is belongs to a different company code okay so i'll just perform a testing here for this company code and i'll show you how it is going to work out so here it means i need to change the assignment okay because if i have to perform testing for this company code for this one i have created tolerance group tm01 so i must have to assign tm01 against my this one and save it i have changed the tolerance group now it means this restrictions is applicable on my user id which is almost same there is no differences the only thing is like difference of company code in tm02 company code all the settings are not done why because step by step one by one we have to proceed further so we'll perform the testing for this company code tm01 and for this company code i have already done certain settings so now we'll do one thing i'll post a transactions by using fb50 okay give your company code tm01 and give certain details don't worry guys this transactions you guys will be also able to post but before that we have to perform some more settings that remain okay once we perform those settings then we are going to post the transactions so let's suppose this this is the gl number guys this two gl number and uh, this is bank gl number and this is rent gl number okay your bank account is going to be let's suppose credited your rent account is going to be debited what of how much amount like i have given let's suppose 500 500 i have given a limit of 500 it means whichever whichever user id has been assigned against this tolerance group tm01 will not be eligible to post a transaction which is more than 500 so even if the transaction worth is 501 also 
system should not allow me to close the transitions let me check press center let's see here you may only post document up to 500 so if the transaction is going to be exceeded this limit whatever limit i have specified here okay it means you are going to get the error right so if you receive such kind of requirement it's quite easy to set up the tolerance group guys and whichever the users are there you need to ask for the list of users okay that how many users are supposed to be in the sense like list of users how many units are going to be assigned against this tolerance group at all your client is going to give a list of let's suppose 60 user id 40 user id 50 user id what is happening guys we are going to assign tolerance group you have to set up the tolerance group and you have to assign this tolerance group against those user id so what i have done i have tested against my user id itself now i just because against this tm01 assignment is done guys look at here tm01 in tm01 this is the restrictions now i'm going to make it 1000 i'm going to make it 1000 control s save it so in case of once again you have to go to fb50 itself guys you must have to refresh the screen then only the recent changes is going to be determined by system so slash and fb50 once again give your company code tm01 sorry not yeah tm01 itself okay and once again we are going to give this zl okay and same amount 501 or even if you want you can give like 700 also which is more than 500 right and if you press enter look at here this bank account and rent account GL. okay so look at here now the amount is allowed here green it means balance is equals to zero but the same amount if it is going to be exceeded like the limit which i have specified that is 1000 so make it 1200 if you make it 1200 then press enter look at here once again system is saying that you can post up to 1000 equations so once you perform such kind of testing and all then better to give a maximum limit here okay 10 times 9 give 10 times 9 press enter like this here also okay give this limit and then save it once you perform the testing because if you are going to give a small limit always whenever you are going to perform the testing system is going to throw this error right so once you perform the testing better to increase the limit and proceed further for the further testing so why because we are having a lot more things to test we are in the beginning phase itself right you guys will be having several other topics you guys will be having several exclusive topic which you will never you might have never seen anywhere almost everybody everyone everyone like most of you have already taken this training somewhere right so there are certain topic guys which you'll never find anywhere neither on google nor on youtube that is personally i have received those requirements in past from my clients and all right and i thought like this requirement is going to be unique so why not to cover for my students and i cover in the live classes and certain things i have recorded also in the interview question and answer sessions okay so these things are for you and this is how you guys are going to be unique so hopefully uh, you guys are having the understanding of this tolerance group right so uh, now what we have done what i have done i have changed your tm01 now i'm going to remove this okay or is i'll keep it as it is okay you guys what you have to do you have to define your tolerance group you have to assign this tolerance group against your user id itself because you're having only one user id okay and uh, we have to perform some more testing some more settings and all gl settings and all and after that we'll post the transactions so i think if you talk about the testing you guys will be able to perform testing after two or three sessions okay 
So this is what the use of tolerance group. That's what I have explained here. That tolerance group refers to a way to make sure that employee do not exceed exceed their limit in terms of amount and in terms of discount. I have shown in terms of amount discount. You guys will automatically see once we uh, what to say uh, do a testing for the terms of payment. Okay. Now, so this is all about tolerance group, guys. Now we are having one more thing and that is called posting key okay what is this posting key guys so look at here posting key decide the debit and credit side of transactions guys this posting key is quite unique okay even uh, there are several people who knows only this much that posting key decide the debit and credit side of transactions it means it determines like see i'll tell you Generally, we are having, let's suppose I posted one transaction here, like a rent account debit here, bank account. This is a transaction. What's up, whatever amount, let's suppose. Okay. So now, what is happening, guys? Instead of debit and credit, in SAP, in SAP, everything will be like we are talking in terms of codes only. Whatever things are there, whether it is posting period variant, field status variant, your company code, which define in terms of code. So even for debit and credit transactions, whatever this debit and credit is there for that also, we are having certain codes. Let's suppose this is GL to GL entry. So for debit, we are having these code. Instead of instead of debit, we are going to use 40. Instead of credit, we are going to use 50. So this is a code. It is a key. Okay. So this is called posting key. This is called posting key. I typed in shortcut. I have written in shortcut. This is called posting key. Okay. So posting key means what guys? It determines the debit and credit side of the transactions, whether it is debit or credit. 40 means debit and 50 means credit. Don't be confused guys, this is going to be quite clear because we are in beginning phase. Uh, people who have already taken this training and all earlier, so those people will be a bit familiar with this posting key and all, right? And Even it is having some other controls also guys, which is quite unique. Okay, that also I'll let you know. Okay, further you guys will come to know. So what is happening guys? Posting key decide the debit and credit side of transactions. Look at your certain posting key have specified. For GL, GL debit, posting key 40. GL credit, posting key 50. Customer debit, posting key 01. Customer credit, let's suppose posting key 15. Even for vendor, for uh, even we are having assets 70, 75. So now don't be confused. It's not like that you are going to mug up all these posting keys. Okay. Mugging up is not required, guys. Understanding is required. So we have to post several transactions in the upcoming sessions and all. So for this posting key, also you guys will be quite familiar and need not to mug up anything right now. Okay. Uh, there was a question before TM01. Why we can't assign TM02 to your user? What is the question, Bharat? What you are saying? I think related you, to this tolerance. Yeah, you wanted initially you tried to assign to TM02, but it did not allow, and you removed this TM01, right? So for one tolerance group is only for one user company code. Why not other company yes. code? I, I, I understood your I understood your requirement. Now I'll tell you generally. See, I'm having several tolerance group, right? Every tolerance group is having different, different, you know, like amount limits and all, amount limits and all. Okay, different rules are there, different restrictions are there, isn't it? Now, how come it possible that Mr. E is allowed for 500 also and Mr. E is going to allow for 50 lakh also? Only one is going to be applicable, either this one. Or that one 
isn't it? So that is the that is why already one tolerance group I have assigned in against my user user ID, right? Now I'm going to assign one more. How system is going to allow? Isn't it? You have to choose anyone, either A or B or C. That is the logic. So you can be either you can fall under this group, ten lakh or 50 lakh or unlimited right it's not like that we can assign this also against our user id this also against our user id and this no only one so that is why so since one tolerance group was already assigned against my user id this is why uh, you know i have performed one testing before this class right so and it's always my what to say uh, effort that i try to you know provide easiest example so that it will be you know quite easy for you guys to understand isn't it so that's all so that is the reason uh, system was not allowing me because uh, during testing what i did i assigned one to this group and this is why system was not allowing me uh, to assign the next one so i deleted the first one and then i assigned the current one now so what i was talking guys we were talking about posting key so posting key means what guys it is going to determine the debit and credit side of the transactions. What is the transaction code of posting key, guys? The transaction code of posting key is OB41. OB41. So here. Whichever posting key has been given by SAP, SAP guys, it's, it's more than enough. Okay. I, I just said like document types, whatever document type has been given by SAP. Uh, of course, if requirement is there, then document type we can set up. Okay. New document type we can set up. But posting key guys, whatever the posting key has been delivered by SAP, that is more than enough. And, uh, you know, we are having options to create a new posting key also. But generally, what is the reality guys new posting keys are not required to set up of course SAP has given this options and all in future if you come across uh, or such kind of requirements and all you can set up and it's not set up guys whatever the existing posting keys are there that is going to be copied generally in real time also use transition code ob41 i'll just show you we are having several look at here several posting keys are there because several kind of transactions are there guys several kind of transactions are there okay now let's suppose look what this jb posting general voucher 40 and 50 okay so there are several things here guys posting key means this 40 is for debit and even it controls the account key also okay this 40 posting key with allowed will be allowed only for which kind of accounts only for gl okay Again, by using this 40 posting key, if you want to post any transactions which are related to vendor or customer, then system will not allow. Okay, so this is also having a control on what guys account type control is also there. Okay, what is this account type? Account type and all that also you'll come to know because like based on the transactions we have customer related transactions, vendor related transactions, year related related transactions, assets are there, materials are there. But right now, these all things yet to come. Okay, that is why I didn't put stress during defining this at the time of document types and all. As I said, like okay, these all things will come in future. So right now, what is happening, guys? Keep only one thing in your mind: posting key. What it, what is it controls? Debit and credit side of the transactions. Apart from this, guys, look at here. The most important things: maintain field status. So general data, double click. Right now, I explained one uh, what to say uh, topic that was field status variant. Okay, and what I said field status variant controls the fields which appears during transaction posting. And I'm saying posting key also control the same fields which appears during transaction posting. Right now, the question is that why the same setting has been given why why like look at here this is also having the same functionality posting key is also going to control the fields which appears during transaction posting and i said in the previous explanations that field status variant also controls the fields which appears 
control the fields which fields guys the fields which appears during transition posting so what is the difference between both posting key is also having same control field status variant is also having same control there is a topic guys in in upcoming sessions there will be a topic it's going to be quite unique explanations that is company code settings and client level settings Com client level settings and company code level settings okay uh, once i explain that then you guys are going to understand the logic behind this okay i said like posting key also controls the fields which appears during transaction posting okay i said like let's suppose we are having take example of any key let's suppose fb50 right now tm01 etc so lots of fields are appearing here let's suppose this is lots of fields are appearing this assignment validate right so whatever these fields are appearing these fields are controlled by what guys in the previous session i might have told you that it is controlled by field status variant now in this session i am saying that this field is even controlled by posting key also this is controlled even look at your assignment number right so this is controlled by posting key also now the question is the same fields are getting controlled by posting key the same fields are getting controlled by field status variant also why it is so right why the same setting has given by sap at two different places so of course there is a logic in this so that you will come to know once i cover even i have already recorded an interview question and, uh, and answers on this one right so those things also there will be a topic called client level setting and company code level setting so once i cover that topic you guys will be having a perfect understanding about this and there also guys uh, for this client level setting and company code level setting what is happening uh, see in past i have taken interview uh, for several people i'll tell you 98 percent of the people or, or 95 percent of the people what is happening uh, they're not having the conceptual knowledge in the sense simply they have mugged up four or five examples or two three examples yes this is the client level setting this is the company code level setting but you need to justify if you say that document type let's suppose is a client level setting how can you say that this is a client level setting if you say that posting period variant is company code level setting how can you say that this is a company code level setting this is what is going to be asked by people and you must have to justify if you are able to justify selection is there if not nothing right simply they will say bye bye so that's all. Anyway, once I cover that topic, then I'll explain those things. So now what is happening, guys? Posting key means what? I've explained here. Posting key decide the debit and credit side of the transactions. And even posting key also controls the fields which appears during transaction posting. Okay? But differences, you will come to know as I said in the upcoming session begins. Still, we are in basic setting itself, guys. Lots of topics are yet to come. Okay so now we have done with the basic setting guys and so that's all in this session and that's all for kumar kumar, kumar. Uh -huh. this conference will now be recorded so now generally i do not uh, record the doubts and all because the video is going to be more and more lengthy now you let me uh, one by one uh what's your doubt who is having doubt tell me yeah, uh, Ravi, uh, Ravindra here, uh, Kumar. One by so, one, one, by one, one by one. Yeah. So, Ravi, yeah, Ravi, yeah. So, you, you have shown uh, only one one group of uh, example for tolerance. So, if you if you you have, you have explained three groups, right? So, if you if you want to set up to another group, how can we uh, set up as, as as a practical? Because you have shown only one group, right? Can you show me uh, in fact? So I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. See, it's quite it's quite easier, isn't it? I'll tell you generally. I'm having three groups, right? Now, since you're having only one user ID, you're having only one user ID to do this for the testing and all. Now, I'll just do one thing. You're saying this is quite easy, guys. I think in one itself, the doubt are supposed to be cleared, but. And I think you should apply some common sense. Why? Because, see, you create a different, two different tolerances. 
Okay, I'm having like, let's suppose, I think this is gone. Okay, let me log in. Okay, now I'll just quote here. Now, instead of PM01 or PM02, forget about that. Now, let's suppose I'm having T01, T02, and T03. Okay, now here. 500, 1000, and here 2000 limits are given. Okay, or is like this is unlimited. Unlimited means always we are going to give 10 times 9. Okay, because none of the transaction is going to exceed that amount. Guys. This is a huge amount, right? Now, and certain discount will keep the same discount 5%. High. Any, any way discount cannot be what to say tested right now. Okay, because we are not having this certain settings are required. Now, so as I said, like once I cover this terms of payment, you guys will come. Now here, let's suppose T01, T02, T03. So I think instead of this doing by me, instead like I'm doing, you guys are supposed to be tested of this one. This is how I can say that you guys are going to apply your common sense, right? OBA4, I'm going to, let's suppose new entry. Group T01. Okay, company code. Let's suppose TM02. I cannot give guys because TM02 for the settings are not there in the sense GL related settings are not there. So, as I said, one company code is already created which is having the basic settings and GL settings that is TM01. So, I'm going to test for this one 500, 500, 5% discount. I'm not going to give the submitted payment differences. Okay because we have to perform testing and all. Now, T01, again, what is happening for the same company code, copy this one and give T02, okay? And now here, for T02, what is the amount limit? 1,000 only, right? So give here 1,000. 1,000, press enter. So T02, we have also set up. Right, and now so we are having T01, T02, and copy this T02, and we are going to set up T03 also, which is having unlimited. Okay, here three and three six. Center. So this is unlimited. Okay, you are given, you are given maximum limit. Okay, so just save it. Now we are having three different tolerance group. Okay, if you have to perform testing, now you are having only one user ID, right? So what is happening? Go to OB52. Sorry, not OB52. It's OB57. And here, now click on position. Mine is already assigned a different tolerance group, so I must have to remove. And I'm going to give T01. T01, once I have given, it means my user ID is, ID is having restrictions. What? Till 500 rupees. So simply we are going to perform testing for this one, right? This is how even you guys also can do, right? Okay, whatever debit and credit if you give 400 which is less than 500 system is going to allow if you are going to give 600 it is more than 500 right it is more than 500 system will not allow why because our user id has been assigned against this tolerance group and which is having restrictions till 500 only now e02 okay so what will happen? I'm going to now same user ID we have to assign against T02 also and we'll check for T02. That is already I've shown you guys. I've increased the limits, isn't it? So I'll tell you guys, my students, 
are supposed to be smarter compared to whoever other people are there in the market, right? So that's what I'm putting okay. this in. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Kumar. Got it. <laughs> you got it? Now, once again, yes, yes. so you have to refresh. Isn't it? There should be some huge differences, guys. That's what I'm taking this much time and I'm trying to explain each and everything so that whenever you guys go for interview, there'll be huge differences. The differences you guys will be able to find out. Okay, once you go for interview, you'll come to know what is your level and what is the level of the people who is coming from other institutions and all. Right, this basic settings, whichever I have covered, these many sessions I have taken, it's, it's going to be covered in a single session in 30 minutes or 40 minutes of the classes. You just watch the several videos are there on YouTube and people have covered these topics in 30 minute sessions. Simply they are, you know, like teaching how to configure these things, how to configure like posting period variant, how to configure pre status variant, how to configure tolerance groups, right? But the logic is not logics are not there and even if somebody is going to explain also they'll quote an example of uh, certain examples in the sense certain uh, what to say definitions itself people are going to narrate within a minute isn't it so this is what so again and again i have since i have assigned a different one so now you can see now 600 is going to be perm permissible why because this i have assigned what t02 right and t02 is having what till 1000 so if anything exceeded 1000 it means if you go and post transaction worth of 1200 then this is not going to be allowed like that even you can if you assign this t03 then what is happening unlimited okay Unlimited will be there. So let me assign T03 itself because I have to perform several testing and features and all. Or else let me remove my user ID. Okay, there should not be any restrictions because I have to perform several testing. So this is the concept. This is the body, guys. So now I'll just do one thing, guys. Now I'll pause the recording and we'll see the other doubts and all. Okay, because if I record those things, then this video is going to be quite lengthy. And for you guys, in future, it is going to be because these things i'll tell you guys uh these explanations these videos required before placements and even these videos required after placements also okay so okay guys that's all in this session that's all for today let me pause the recording this conference will now be recorded so sorry guys actually uh this there are the questions that this limit is only for employees here. It was written by whom? Contracts. Okay. So guys, I forgotten actually this tolerance limit. Tolerance limits not only for employee, even it is for GL also. Okay. This is a mandatory setting you must have to set up. Now, what is the logic behind the tolerance limits for this GL and all? You guys will come to know later. During a five M integrations, we are having a clearing account for GRI. Okay. So at that point of time, you'll be able to understand. But if we are not going to do this setting right now, then what will happen, guys? You'll be getting some error at the time of projects and posting. So right now, what you have to do is just assume that this is a mandatory setting and OBA0. There is one more setting which we have to do. This is also related to tolerance, but that is for GL account. Okay. And now click on inventory and give your company code tm02 don't give any anything in the group okay guys if you keep the group field optional then assignment is not sorry if you group if you keep this group field empty blank then assignment is not required it means this is applicable blank tolerance group is applicable for all gls it is applicable for all users even in uh, at the time of defining this tolerance group for users also let's suppose if you are keeping it blank it means what is happening that is applicable for all, all users by default so now here just keep it blank and i will say like this logic you guys will be able to understand when once we perform this five m integrations we are having here a year account clearing account and all so at that point of time but just assume that this is a mandatory setting which we have to do that is why we are doing Okay, logic you guys will come to know later. So this one I forgotten actually. 
asking the question raised by Hansraj. So that's how I was able to remember that yes, this is also a setting which I uh, forgotten. So what we have done there is now we have seen like tolerance group, tolerance limits. Look at here OBA4 and OBA0. OBA4 is for user and OBA0 is for GL. Okay. OBA4, the logic I have explained, practically I have shown OBA0 further in future because as I said, several topics are there. So that is going to be explained. And posting key also I have explained, guys. Okay. So now once again, I'll pause the recording. I think twice or thrice we have paused and again we have come back. So take care, guys. Now, so finally, finally, that's all in this session. And that's all for today. So let me pause the recording now.